Regarding this TikTok ban, here are my two cents. I think the whole thing has very little to do with our government being so concerned about our data. Our data has been sold a million times over. By American companies, no less. Cambridge Analytica was a freaking disaster for our country. Facebook has lost track of our data so many times you think Mark would get tired of saying, oh sorry everyone, our bad. But he knows that apologizing after the fact costs him less money than doing the right thing. And since our government has never held him responsible, just like any other company, he keeps paying the fine and apologizing to the cameras. We all know that we can't speak around our cell phones or Google HomePods or Alexa without the thing you were talking about coming up in some targeted ad on your phone or computer. You know what I need? A new blazer. Oh, look at all these cute blazers in my feed. We should probably get a 3D printer. Oh, hey, look at the printer that just came up. What a good deal. Come on. It's weird and it's scary and it's very big brother, but it's been happening for years and there was no bipartisan concern from our government to do anything about that. Then we have to listen to these ridiculous hearings where a vast majority of our representatives look like morons who don't properly understand Wi-Fi, let alone data harvesting, acting like experts on a subject they know nothing about and threatening to shut down something 150 million Americans use for business and entertainment and communication and community because they're suddenly so concerned about our safety. Please. If you were so concerned about America's safety, you would have bipartisan hearings on the extraordinary amount of gun deaths in this country. If you were looking out for the best of the American citizen, we would have universal health care and a living wage and affordable housing. To me, this is about our government, A, being played to do a hit job by one social media company on another, and B, being upset that they can't entirely control the narrative anymore. TikTok is not just a dancing teenager app. It's a place where marginalized voices can connect and educate and inspire the rest of us. It's where we literally get breaking news now. Or news and stories, our billionaire owned agenda and profit driven media hasn't curated within an inch of its life. Listening to mainstream media, you would have thought that train derailment in Ohio was fine and the water and air were all good. Until the people on the actual ground started posting what was really going on. We talk to each other on TikTok. We communicate and we gather. It's people driven. Where else can I learn about the trans experience, the black American experience, epidemiology, climate science, or in my case, break down political issues into bite-sized pieces so more people can understand and be engaged? We're certainly not getting that information in school, especially since all the things I just mentioned are systematically being stripped from any educational experience in this country as we speak. No one is proposing that TikTok doesn't have issues. I can personally attest to their algorithm being pretty messed up. It's almost impossible to communicate with anyone at that company if you have a problem. And people can easily work in bad faith to silence good voices. No one's saying there might not be a problem with the Chinese government or know what the goals for the app might be. These are worthy issues for the government to be discussing and monitoring and potentially regulating. I think most of us could get on board with that. But I also think that those issues apply to all social media across the board. The only reason we're talking about TikTok is because Meta, Facebook, was pissed off TikTok was beating it. They tried to compete, found they couldn't, so decided instead of innovating, their resources would be better spent targeting their opponent for annihilation. Over the past year, Meta has spent over $22 million lobbying DC leaders to discredit TikTok. They've also been engaged in a national media campaign to discredit the competitor, running article after article and news piece after news piece, questioning the safety of the app in places where lawmakers would see it. And their efforts appear to be working. So it's no surprise that Meta, thinking their opponent was on a crash course, started removing its creator fund, the fund it only implemented to compete with TikTok in the first place. But you don't need to pay creators if you took your competition out of the knees, and now the creators have nowhere else to go. It's gross and manipulative, but I'm not sure we can expect much more from a company that was founded on rating girls' looks, built its brand on stolen tech, and made its money using hate and anger to drive its algorithm. Again, I am not saying TikTok is perfect, but Facebook is an American-owned company and it's been fucking us for years. And if we want to talk about foreign ownership, Twitter is owned by a South African billionaire funded by the Saudis that pitches Nazi filth and medical disinformation that literally kills people. Hell, Fox News is owned by an Australian billionaire who is fundamentally destroying America's faith in democracy and each other, and there hasn't been a single hearing on them. So all I'm saying is if you have a problem with TikTok, then the problem you have is with all social media. And that's the thing we should be addressing. You can't just target one without the others. I propose you sit down with a bunch of experts and you find the best way to make all social media sites safer. Put in rules so no one can mine our data. Pass laws so they can't sell our information. Write legislation that monitors their algorithms to make sure we aren't being pitted against each other for ad dollars. We're okay with rules, but willy-nilly banning one site and not the others makes no damn sense. 
Aside from it being an absolutely asinine move politically, it doesn't actually make Americans any safer. Less informed, yeah. Less happy, definitely, but not safer. Nope, not if you're leaving all the other sites alone. Of course, finding solutions takes longer and will be more work than simply banning something so you can turn around and say you did something and maybe stick it to our new Cold War enemy in the meantime. But if we have learned anything from Republicans this year, simply banning the things you don't like or understand against the will of the people is an authoritarian move. And you can hardly call yourself a nation of freedom if your go-to is to solve problems by simply eradicating them without any thought of who it might harm. If this is really about data, the CEO of TikTok has said they're planning to move American data to American soil to be overseen by an independent American company. So the problem should be solved, right? But it's not, because this is more about convening a witch trial. And it's really not any fun if you don't end up getting to burn a witch.